Hello, today we're going to look at my Vin Baker collection. Of course, Vin Baker is one of the assistant coaches on the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, and it, the new coach, Coach Adrian Griffin, has um, is bringing Vin Baker back. And it was kind of unclear if, if Vin Baker was coming back because a lot of the coaches moved on to different places or let go and replaced. But Vin Baker uh, still remains a Buck. And um, I'm a Bucks fan, so um, I was really happy to hear that. I like Vin Baker. I remember when, um, when I was a kid listening to the radio and uh, listening to a lot of the games on the radio. For some reason, we didn't have that channel to get the games on TV. So I had to listen to him on the radio and, uh, um, he was obviously, um, very good player when he first started. And he has a story to tell about, uh, kind of a life story to tell about, uh, his self and what he went through. He got into, um, he got into alcoholism and, um, eventually, lost everything and uh, he was in uh, I think um, he was he well he got traded to the supersonics of course and then uh, kind of his career went downhill from there um, because of alcoholism and and he lost out on a lot of um, contracts and and he didn't play as well obviously once he got into alcoholism his career went down and then pretty much ended. He ended, lost everything pretty much. And um, his story is is one that's interesting because he um, he found God and um, and then started uh, looking around for jobs. Um, and uh, he started going back to star. He was a Starbucks uh, employee because of the supersonics um, owner offered him an opportunity to get back into working and that sort of thing. And so he was working as a Starbucks thing manager until um, he was hired as an assistant coach for the Bucks. But, and now that's where he's at now. Um, interesting story. Um, he's got a book about it and he's also um, opening up um, these centers that, I think in the Milwaukee area to help people um, who are alcoholics and it's kind of a ministry that he's, that he is working on right now, along with being assistant coach for the Milwaukee Bucks. And so um, I'm going to show you today my Vin Baker collection. I'm, I was never uh, a super collector for Vin Baker or anything like that. But I, I, I was kind of a, a super collector for Glenn Robinson at one time. And because of that, I accumulated a lot of Vin Baker stuff too uh, via trade. You know, I would trade like Grant Hill or what, whoever for, for Bucks cards, and, you know, specifically. And then they would send me a bunch of Bucks cards. And I would get a lot of Glenn Robinson and stuff like that. But I also get Vin Baker. And so I've accumulated some cards. Um, not... I wouldn't say I'm a super collector at all of Vin Baker, but I got a couple of nice um, key cards and most of his rookie cards and stuff like that. And um, so let's get into it. First card is um, obviously the pre-rookie classic had a bunch of different sets. His college days. Um, so yeah, there's different classic cards that I have. And in those days when Shaq came in, uh, Classic was very popular. Uh, and they made a bunch of different sets for um, <laughs> draft picks coming out of college. And the, I like the foil card and the cards. Um, yeah, this one here I really like. Foil card. Almost like a top's finest kind of card. And then we get into his rookie year, rookie cards. 
We got the hoops, got the skybox. This is just kind of a And then sometimes like sometimes you, you get you get the rookies in, in two different uh they got the rookie card and then there's some kind of subset. This one's changing faces. And like the Fleer Ultra, this is the rookie card, and he has another one in the second series of the same, you know, Fleer Ultra set. It's two cards in the same in the same set. I don't don't really understand that, but anyway, we got the upper deck. And I guess this is Upper Deck SE. Tops rookie, the Stadium Club rookie. Uh, okay, so that, and then of course the Tops Finest rookie card, which is obviously my favorite. I don't have any refractors for Ben Baker. Um, I've kind of looked on Com C to see what uh, this refractor, refractor in this, how much that costs. And uh, I think it's like $25, something like that, to get that, pick that up off of Com C. It's in my want list on Com C. We'll see what, if it, if one ever comes up, a discount or something, we'll see what happens. And so we'll get into some other cards, the next, next second year cards, stuff like that. He's in a lot of inserts, subsets. And he did pretty well right right away. Well, his first year he only averaged 13 points, but um, he was an all-star four times. And um, so here's some inserts coming up. Um, very early on, that's a, a lot of uh, parallel cards I, I have. And... Uh, So early on, it was him and Glenn Robinson, and so Vin Baker was scoring close to 20 points and 10 and 10 rebounds a game, and uh, was a pretty good shooter actually for a big guy. But rebounder, he was a good rebounder, and that was, uh, yeah, him and Glenn Robinson were very tough together, and then uh, Ray Allen did come along as well. And that was a pretty good trio. And then, of course, Ben Baker got traded for Sean. Well, basically Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp uh, didn't go to the Bucks, but he was part of that trade. And there's his signature, I guess. Uh, Collector's Choice silver signature there. Another parallel. The embossed, tops embossed set, emotion. That was always uh, a list. Love the photography on that emotion set. So he's still working with uh, uh, Giannis. Vin Baker is in in. He has a obviously a knowledge of the power forward position to some to share and some techniques that he used to get four all star appearances, which is pretty good actually. I mean, Penny Hardaway had four all stars, and some of them you might say were uh, just a popularity contest that he got in. But Vin Baker had was a, a four time all star as well. So here's some inserts. The upper deck I see something different. Double double, and that's pretty what much what Vin Baker was. The double double machine. It'd get to 20 points and, and 10 rebounds and a couple, you know, like a block or whatever per game. The Fleer Metal. And then the, here's are some some of the um, rookie inserts, the draft pick insert cards, you know, 
little harder to, to get than your average insert. My, my best card is coming up. So I've got the Electric Court Vin Baker Upper Deck SE rookie card right there. And then this is the big one is the Electric Gold rookie card, which is a pretty hard pull to get. And the fact that it's his rookie card, um, and it's kind of a rare card. So that's kind of, uh, I looked it up on in a Beckett. And in 1997, it was $25. I'm not sure what it is today. But the point is, it's it was a, a tough card to get. And this one here has Sean Kemp on it um, in the hologram. So it's kind of ironic. He went to the Supersonics and basically was traded basically for Sean Kemp. The pan for gold. This is always um, one of my favorite looking cards. The gold medallion. Those cards are pretty neat. And this is the Topps gold. And Baker. Topps gold. The other one. One of my favorite looking cards is the Topps Finest from 94-95. And that's my Vin Baker collection. I think I got 71 different cards I, I um, counted, something like that. And look forward to, uh, who knows, Vin Baker could advance his coaching career to eventually someday be a head coach who knows i hope i hope that he continues coaching and um just nice to have him on the team right now um i think they still have some few years where they're going to be very competitive and so it's nice to have vin baker on the team right now he's got a great story and we remember him his early years at, with the bucks very fondly thank you for watching check out my channel for other videos thanks